Herd immunity, when COVID-19 can no longer spread effectively in the population, has been both touted and dismissed as a solution to the pandemic. But most experts believe a safe and widely distributed vaccine will be necessary before we can put COVID in the rearview mirror. As Eric Sorensen reports, epidemiologists are keeping an eye on populations from New York to Spain to India for signs that herd immunity is achievable sooner rather than later. Could this, the overcrowded slums of Mumbai, be a front line in defeating the novel coronavirus? Testing suggests more than half the people living here have been infected, and health officials believe the region may be inching towards the prime objective in the pandemic, herd immunity. Indian experts and others suggest an immunity threshold at 50% of the population or even lower could be enough to curb the spread of the virus. Fresh cases are coming, but people are no longer afraid, says this Mumbai shopkeeper. See, I'm not wearing a mask. The only way out of this is herd immunity, either artificial or natural. Artificial, where a vaccine provides immunity. Natural, where people get the virus then become immune. Raywat Dionandan is skeptical that herd immunity is close at hand globally. This isn't one epidemic, it's multiple epidemics with different profiles and different geographies around the world. Herd immunity in simple terms works like this. A percentage of the population gets infected with a virus and then that group becomes immune. If it's large enough, it then offers protection to those who are not immune and are still vulnerable. So if I come along with a virus, my contacts with those who are immune doesn't allow the virus to spread. The question is, what percentage immunity is required to hold the virus in check? The epidemiological consensus is around 70% of the population must be immune to achieve herd immunity, and we're not close to that yet. We need to focus on what we can actually do now to suppress transmission and not live in hope of herd immunity being our salvation. There is still more to learn on immunity, says Dionandan. Some people believe that kids couldn't get it and couldn't transmit it. Now we know for sure they can and they do. The question is, how much do they do so? It's an important question because in Canada, children are just about to go back to school by the millions. And it's not even clear, say experts, how long immunity lasts. When somebody is infected with this virus, we expect that they develop an immune response. What we are learning right now is how strong that response is and for how long that response will last. We do not have a complete picture of this yet. Immunity will rise around the world as more COVID-19 patients recover. But herd immunity may not come before there's a vaccine. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.